Welcome to the Science Check Podcast. I'm Garrett. And I'm Evie. We're learning about streaming. You mean what we're all doing right now, streaming the audio podcast or the YouTube video cast? Right, there's a science to streaming. And David Starkey, a system performance engineer with Verizon Wireless, is here to answer questions. Usually, we collect questions from students to have our scientists answer. This time, we get to ask the questions. So, Mr. Starkey, what is streaming? Well, streaming is the is the ability to uh, uh, have to to move data from um, the computer server wherever it's being located to our to our device. In simpler terms, uh, streaming is the ability for us as users to watch uh, uh, television shows or movies on our mobile devices or iPads or laptops. How did streaming begin? Back in the day, um, when all we had was dial-up modems, where you know your, your internet connection was a phone modem that we would dial into some connection. Uh, streaming was actually called store and forward. My computer would reach out to the server where this, where this video clip is kept and say, hey, I wanna watch this, send me a packet. And some packets would come. I would acknowledge those packets and the server would send the next packets and there'd be this continuous um, um, acknowledgement of packets being sent. The problem with that, based on our pipes, our data pipes we had back in the day, is to, to watch a, a 30 minute video. That process of getting that video clip from the server to my computer was probably like an hour and a half. So it, 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 it wasn't very uh, uh, time friendly. And over time, with our, with our data pipes becoming much larger, um, uh, everyone's not you know, tied to their house anymore. Um, of the devices are getting much faster, and and the 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 process of 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 taking a video clip and and you know compressing it so we can move it from point A to point B quicker really enhances the user's ability to stream. You mentioned compression. What's compression? Compression is where um, uh, effectively, if there's a if there's a video stream. And, and the video stream is, is broken up into certain frames. Um, um, and maybe from this frame to this frame, there's not many changes. Uh, it won't, it'll only send the information which has changed within that frame. So therefore, I'm not having to resend every single frame every time in consecutive order. I'm only sending the changes that occurred within that video frame. I get frustrated sometimes when the video I'm watching stops and freezes. What is that called and why does it happen? So buffering is exactly when that happens, where, where your, your device that you have, it's, it's playing the content that's coming in, but there's, there's gaps in the data that are coming in. So there's, um, your, your device is set to where if there's a gap in the in in the clip or or just stops, it'll try to buffer. It'll wait. It's a pause effectively for your device to to retrieve the rest of the information that it's waiting for. So in in this video stream, there's uh, uh, effectively uh, checks, you know, as we go along, and and if certain checks aren't 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 received, you get that buffering process. Is there a difference between Downloading and streaming? Downloading is, is, is when you're on your device and let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a trip across the country and, and I know I've got about four hours on an airplane that um, um, I'm not gonna have any inter internet. So I'll download a movie to my device. So when I'm on the airplane, uh, I don't have an internet connection, but I've already downloaded this movie over the internet, but I have it now on my device. So I can watch the movie on my device without a internet connection. And streaming? Streaming, you have to have an internet connection. It's a constant back and forth from your device to the server where the content is being held. It's a, it's a constant back and forth. We have time for one more question. Is there a difference between music streaming and video streaming? Not really. With, with, with music streaming, you need a much smaller pipe because um, the pipes to move a video clip is very large. The pipe to move a music clip is very small. Because um, anytime you're doing motion, for, per se, 
it, it, it just takes a lot more uh, uh, bits um, to, to replicate that motion at the receiving end. And that's all the time we have for this podcast. Thank you for listening. If you want to learn more about science topics, be sure to subscribe to the Science Trek podcast. And for more information about television and streaming, check out the Science Trek website. You'll find it at sciencetrek.org. Funding for Science Trek is provided by the Laura Moore Cunningham Foundation, the Idaho National Laboratory, and supporters like you. Thank you.